first, we've got about 100 firefighters from all across the state tackling this, along with about 20 people from Arizona, hotshots from Arizona, also helping with this big hole fire. Now, on the right side of me, you're actually looking at about 200 feet away from where the state forestry says that fire started. And we're starting to see some of those hazy conditions as the sun is coming up, a better idea of seeing that burnt scar. And that's the same story right under me as well. Take a look at this ash, char everywhere. And to give you a better idea of just how close we are to structures that have been threatened, take a look to the left of me. That's how close we are to a number of buildings and homes. Now, let's get you to what things looked like yesterday. At last check, this fire has destroyed a home along with 18 structures. We are talking about barns and sheds. It's grown to at least 900 acres. And we say at least because that number could actually be bigger. Aerial surveillance is how they determine the size of the fire. And the problem is the winds have just been too strong. That's impacting crews not just on the ground, but also those trying to help in the air. Yesterday, gusts were above 40 miles per hour. And right now, evacuations are not mandatory, but that could all change. It just depends on how this fire changes as well. When we make an order like that, we it it's a lot for us to do that. But if we're making that order, it's because we know that lives are in danger. Back out here live, we do want to remind everyone that the fire zero percent contained. And so even though those evacuation orders have been lifted, the question is why if the fire is zero percent contained? We're expecting an update from officials later on this morning. We're going to be asking that question. Belen Recreational Center, that's being used as an emergency shelter. Again, 900, at least 900 acres burned. We're just about 200 feet away from where the state forestry says that fire started and evacuations are now voluntary, but crews are working around the clock. We're talking 16-hour shifts in order to tackle this big hole fire. For now, live in Valencia County, Joy Wang, KOB4.